what is normal at 3 p.m., but terrifying at 3 a.m. A phone call from parents' relatives etc. The sound of an ice cream van. Children playing outside. Especially flying a kite. Hello mother dear. So unwholesome. Someone knocking on the door. As kids we would play doorbell ditch sometimes during sleepovers and thought it was the best. It has happened to me a few times and it scared the shit of me lol. I have a plug-in doorbell, which goes off when it's first powered up. That thing is great during brownouts. A kid's toy going off in a random room. My kids used to have a book that, when opened, played nursery rhymes. It turns out that when the battery is running low the book does two things. 1 it plays the tune even while close 2 it plays the tune really slow and in a lower pitch you can see where this is going right? Middle of the night me and my husband are woken by to 5 inkle twi 5 5 inkle live idle star being croaked at us from under our toddler's bed. Or low battery sounds. Thank you for this. A child laughing. Therese nothing more precious than a child's laughter, unless it's 3 in the morning and you don't have kids. Or even when you do have kids. Sleep deprivation is terrifying. The sound of a branch breaking when you're outside. And then listening for steps does that sound like two legs or four. My favorite is when you hear the steps, but no one is around, chances are it's probably a woods turtle edit. A woods turtle is a turtle that lives in the woods. The more you know. Please tell me what a woods turtle is. It's a turtle in the woods. I once saw a little kid's birthday party at a park super late at night, like almost midnight. I didn't understand WTF and for some reason the nope level was really high, like my brain said this is some creepy shit they are gonna eat you for the birthday cake so I just kept on moving. Seen it. Kid was an astronomy nut, so the parents scheduled it as a sort of a sleepover. Even got a special permit and paid for the city to switch off some lights. Dude. I have been wondering forever and I am totally going with this as the answer. There's also certain disabilities where people can't be out in the sun. If the kid had that maybe it would make sense to have their party after dark so they could play on the playgrounds and other things they normally can't do during the day. Dude imagine that parents and how much extra work that would take. If this is true those people freaking rule. There's even a summer camp for kids like that. U2.B The pile of clothes in my room. The day I finished my scuba certification, I got home absolutely exhausted and hung my wetsuit in the shower. Ordered some hot wings, put on a scary movie, The Descent. You know, the one with the streamlined smooth humanoids that eat people in the dark. Crawl into bed and pass out. At like 3 a.m. I get up to take a piss. I don't bother turning on the light. Halfway through the process, I look over to see a smooth human silhouette looming over me. Great, now Therese piss on the ceiling. Gotta love the shower lurker scare. My brother used to have a giant cardboard Austin Powers cutout figure. Complete with motion activated voice box. Groovy, baby. He put that in the shower with the curtain half drawn one night before bed. I woke up, had to go pee, and woke up everyone with my screams when it startled me. See this is why I never close the shower curtain when it's not in use. It's always fully exposed. You're gonna have to jump out of the toilet to scare me. Tornado siren test. Guaranteed it's not a test at 3 a.m. Breaking news. It wasn't 3 a.m., but still somewhat late as both my dad and I were in bed, when we got alerts for a special presidential address for when SEAL Team 6 killed Bin Laden. I remember knocking on his door and whisper yelling Dad, Dad, we need to go turn on the TV. It was just us living there, I'd cry I was whisper yelling lol I was thinking that maybe someone was assassinated or we were about to be bombed, expecting something terrible. Very different situation, but that reminds me of when Princess Diana died and my mom woke me up in the middle of the night to tell me. I was 10 years old and am American and I didn't even know who she was. I was like okay and went back to sleep. Did she rip the covers off of you and yell, I just heard that Princess Diana and her lover Dottie Fade were killed in Paris like you had something to do with it? I've been here all night. You can feel the TV, it's warm. Luckily I had a good alibi since I was in Wisconsin and 12. 
dog standing at the top of the stairs and barking at something on the main floor. My dog doesn't bark very often, we had her for 4 years before we heard her bark, so this would scare the shit out of me 100%. This happened with my last dog. I was sleeping with the door open and she was sleeping at the end of the bed. I felt her move in the middle of the night and it woke me up so I looked down to see her slowly standing up and looking out the bedroom door. She jumped off the bed and started going insane and barking. She was frantically stepping across the threshold of the room and then backing up into the room. It was like she was trying to get something someone to back off but it kept spooking her back into the room. I couldn't see out the door from my angle so I had no idea what she was barking at. She didn't even acknowledge me as I was yelling at her to stop, which is weird because she was generally good at listening and also never barked. Then she all of a sudden stopped barking, jumped back up on the bed and went to sleep. I have no idea what the hell she was barking at. We were the only two living things in the house and the cameras around the outside of the house didn't pick anything up the entire night. It's a shame you had to move the next morning after so little sleep. Those automatic air freshener sprays. Yes. I got the shit scared out of me by a PSST from the pitch black living room in the middle of the night. It was trying to whisper to you that you smelled bad and was doing the house a solid by freshening the air. You should have, thanked it. My high school had these automatic air fresheners that would detect the air quality and let out a little puff if it detected particulates or whatever. I also had a teacher that had a flatulence problem, like a medically significant flatulence problem. She had learned to let them out silently, but we always knew when she ripped one because the air freshener behind her desk would go off. Oh God. High school kids can be brutal. I hope her morale is intact. House sounds. During the day if the house creaks or whatever, who cares? If it's night, holy duck demon in the darkness. Also the ice machine. 3 p.m. it's just ice, 3 a.m. who the duck is breaking in? Damn it ice maker. Do you never sleep? Feeling like something jumped on the bed. At 3 p.m. my door is open might be my cat. At 3 a.m., might be my sleep paralysis monster Terry. Terry is very off-putting. Scary Terry. Terry loves yogurt. This is taking too long. I'm gonna miss the farmer's market. The door opening. My girl works overnights and last winter I wake up to my door unlocking, so I go and investigate. She wears a massive parka in the winter so as a shadow, no lights on, I see someone walking into my home shoulders about 4 feet wide. She got home 5 hours early, I was freaked out pretty good. My wife is a night shift nurse, and sometimes gets sent home early because they don't need her. True horror is waking up to the garage door opening at 3am lol. Looking in your bathroom mirror. I've decided I either have to look right in the mirror or close my eyes when I pass it, no in between. If I just walk past the mirror but notice it in my peripheral, I'm convinced I'll see a shadowy figure move out of the corner of my eye and die of panic. Having had to flee my home at 2am due to wildfires, I'd say heavy traffic. Edit due to confusion, it's the heavy traffic at 3am that's terrifying, not the wildfires, which are terrifying no matter what time it is. Experienced the terror of waking up at 2 a.m. with my neighborhood on fire, myself. Was terrifying. My Google Home on max volume saying microphone disconnected. Microphone connected. I live alone. Okay Google, exorcise my house. House starts jogging. Seeing the sun in the sky. Alaska's got it real rough then. It's pretty cool if you're visiting for a couple of days, but yeah it could definitely get overwhelming sleeping with this in your face every night. Perfect for procrastinating. I'll do it in the afternoon. Or some such nonsense.